Kindness costs nothing. Once upon a time, in the tiny village called Longkar, lived a potter named Hari with his wife and son. He was an honest and righteous man who loved making beautiful and elegant pots. His workshop was filled with pots and vases of different colors, shapes, and sizes. And people from the village loved to visit his workshop to look at all the beautiful pots. Hello, sir. I would like to buy that pot, the one that you're finishing. Oh, this one? No, it's not for sale. I'm making this for my son. He is getting married soon. That's lovely. But don't worry. I have something else that you will really like. Wait here. I'll be back. Hari went and picked a pretty pot with flowers painted all around it. <sighs> this is a good one. Here you go. Oh wow! This is so beautiful. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, kid. Oh wait, you gave me twenty coins. This pot costs five coins. Oh, thank you so much, sir. You were so honest, sir. <laughs> thank you, dear. Saying this, he got back to painting his pot. Once he finished painting his pot, he made his way home. When he reached home, the house was filled with beautiful decorations and lights in preparation for his son's marriage. His wife and son were sitting in the living room with a few relatives and chatting, looking at the happiness filled in the room and the big smile on his son's face. Hari thought of doing something special for his son. After the wedding ceremony, it will be great to have my son and his bride parade on an elephant with a grand procession leading them through the entire village. A mahout had an elephant in the village. The potter went to borrow the elephant for one day. Ah, this is a good opportunity to make some money with my elephant. Sure, sure. I will have Apu ready for the procession tomorrow. Thank you. The next night, a grand procession with the bride and bridegroom was taken around the city. There were many men, women, and children in that procession, and they were all walking slowly, hearing the sweet sound of the Nadaswara. Nadaswara means a song accompanied by beating of drums, ringing of bells with the help of kinaram, shimai, and melam. Kinaram consists of bell-shaped metals, which, when struck, produce a rhythmical sound. Shanai is a well-known musical instrument of the flute category, and melam is a tabla, which is beaten by hand in keeping with the rhythm. All the people were enjoying the sweet procession, dancing to the music as they proceeded. When suddenly the elephant fell down. Ah! Oh my! What happened? How did he collapse? I don't know. It was fine until now. Are you guys okay? Yes, yes father. father. Seeing poor Apu collapse on the ground, all the people present in the procession felt very sorry for him. How sad! Seems he was very weak. The people got a bottle of water and fed that to the elephant. Apu drank it, but was still weak, and the fall had injured him on his leg. The potter felt very sorry and went to the mahout to talk to him. In the midst of the procession, your elephant suddenly collapsed. I am very sorry. The fall had injured him on the leg. Apu is my friend. How could you injure him like that? I am really sorry. But I did not do anything to intentionally hurt him. I would never do anything to hurt any living being. It is wrong. I am going to take this up with the judge tomorrow. He will make sure you give me a good compensation for hurting my friend. The mahout left and went to get Apu some help. He took him to the vet, who declared that injured his leg. And gave him some bandages. Oh, my sweet Apu! I am so sorry that you have gotten hurt. 
I am going to make sure that the potter pays for this. Saying this, the next day he went to the court and lodged a complaint against the potter. Tell us, what happened last night and how did his elephant collapse? Your Honor, his elephant, Apu, which I borrowed from him, collapsed suddenly on the way while the bride and bridegroom were going around the village. I did not cause any harm to the elephant intentionally, and I have apologized to the Mahout as well. He has hurt my dear Apu. An apology is not enough. I demand a compensation for this. A compensation? Let me tell you this, sir. Injury of a living being cannot be compensated for. Animals are not a thing that you use to make money. They are living beings that shouldn't be used as a means of entertainment and money. That is absolute cruelty. If you are so worried about your elephant, then you would have taken good care of him. The elephant's injury happened when it fell, and that was because it was weak. Yes, Your Honor, I know yet. I should take good care of him. Tell me, why didn't you take care of Apu and his health? The thing is, Apu has been a part of my family since he was a little calf. We are very close. Over the past few years, I have not been able to do well in my business. Because of that, I have not been able to feed my family enough, including my Apu. I'm so sorry to hear that. I see. I have made a decision. Mr. Hari, the complaint against you has been cleared, as you have not harmed the animal intentionally. However, you will be charged a fine of 1,000 rupees for using a wild animal as entertainment. Yes, Your Honor, I understand now. Animals are not to be used as entertainment. And as for the elephant, the village is no place for Apu. He shall be sent to the wildlife sanctuary, where he will be taken care of and rehabilitated. And slowly, with time, released back into the wild. But, but he is my friend. I don't want him to go away. Oh, he is not going away. He is only going home, to the forest, where he belongs. Trust me, it is for the best. Wild animals belong to the forest, just how nature intended. And when us, humans, intrude and deforest their lands, not only do we take away their homes, but also contribute towards global warming, resulting in the extinction of a lot of creatures. You know, I have never thought of it like that. Thank you for opening my eyes. And... And I might be a little selfish here, but tell me something, sire. What if he doesn't remember me? I won't be able to bear it. My son, that's the beauty about elephants. <laughs> they never forget. The Mahout nodded. He felt sad as he did not want to say goodbye to his dear friend. But he knew that Apu deserved to be happy and healthy and go back to the wild where he belonged. And so, he went home and said goodbye to Apu. Apu was taken to the wildlife sanctuary where he was kept under close care. The Mahout would visit him regularly, and he would always be received with a warm hug. He had his own caretaker named Pipu, who would feed him food regularly, take him to the pond where he'd give Apu a bath. <sighs> It is so nice to see that Apu is now healthy and happy. Months passed, and Apu became more acclimatized to his natural habitat. He started bonding with the other elephants and was now part of the herd. He even found his mate. Chimchi and Apu would take her to meet the Mahout whenever he would visit them. Oh, Apu, it looks like you're making a lot of friends. I'm so happy. Here, have this, and this one's for you. And so, Apu lived happily in the wild with all his friends and newfound family of elephants, 
walking around and eating and doing everything that a wild elephant would. As for the Mahout, well, he became best friends with Hari the Potter. And together they sold pots. The Mahout would deliver pots in the shape of elephants to people all around the village and spread the message that animals are to be loved and it is not good to be cruel to them. What we learn from this story is that animals are best at their natural habitats and if we really want to help them, all we have to do is be kind. For kindness costs nothing, and yet its worth is immeasurable. <laughs>